Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator that is a map operator. This doesn't come under the filtering category. This comes under the transformation category of operators. Transformation category means nothing but what I can say is whatever the value the source observable will be sending, the value will be transformed. That means it will be converted to another value or another set, something like that. Okay. The the data what is the source observable is emitting it will be converted okay to another something to another form so that is nothing but the transformation up to now we have seen about the filtering category of operators some are left we, are, we will learn about that one we need to cover other operators so that we will be able to learn about this audit time debounce time and all those things we will learn those filtering category operators also first we will learn about this map operator what is this map operator this map operator what i can say is this is the most commonly used operator in the RxJS. If you try to observe, so in any application, at least we will be using more than once this map operator. So we will be using, uh, much and sure guarantee we will be using this map operator. So what is this use of map operator? Let's try to see. Now here, if you try to see the definition, applies a given project function to each value. So that means whatever the logic you have given. So that may be a simple logic or it may be a complex logic. Whatever the logic you provide in a function, Okay, project function. Here we will be used to see the predicate function, right? So the predicate function will be in such a way that the condition will it has to return either true or false. The logic, whatever it may be, it has to return the true or false. But here it may return any value. Okay, it may return any value. So not only not not true or false, it may return any value. So here the project function to each value, whatever the source observable is emitting the value, each value will be sent into this function and emits the resulting values as an observable. Whatever the values the function will be returning, that will be emitted as an output observable. Okay. So this argument is an optional thing. So this, are, this was used at the previous uh, versions and all those things. But this one will be deprecated in the eighth version or something coming version. This means nothing but uh, uh, previously we don't use this arrow operating functions, right? We will be using something like callback function, function of like that. So in order to have that this outside that this thing, so we will be mentioning that this whatever that this it may be. So right now we will be using the arrow function. There is no matter of using this this. Now here the project. What is this project? The function applies to each value emitted by the source observable. The index parameter is the number of the ith position. So you will also have the index parameter as a second parameter. So that will be uh, starting from the zero. It will be okay. It returns as usual. You know that it returns an observable. So whatever the mod the function returns the value, it will be that value will be returned as an observable. You need to remember one thing that every operator returns an observable. That's it. So it will be returns an observable of that value. Now, same thing like uh, how you will be using this in the JavaScript array uh, map array. In the same scenario, it will be passed. It, in the same scenario, it will be. It passes each source value through the transformation function to get the corresponding output values. Here, if you try to see the marble diagram, here is the marble diagram for the map operator. If you try to see this map marble diagram. At the top, it is a source observable. It is emitting the values 1, 2 and 3. And these values are passing through the map operator. And in this map operator, we are having a logic in such a way that each value passing through to this map operator, it will be multiplied by 10. So that means the value of the 1 is changing in changing to some other value. Okay. Not only a number, it could be a string, it could be or anything, whatever thing you may. So it can it is converting in some other value. So now whatever the value coming to the source observable, they are multiplying that one by 10. So that means the resulting output will be for 1, 1 into 10, it's a 10, for 2 into 10, it's a 20, and 3 into 10, it's a 30. Okay. So the, this is the transformation happening. That is the map operator. Let's try to see this map operator in the practical, how we will be using in the real time also. I will try to show you. Here, if you try to see, let's create the component for the map operator. I am creating the component. And let's go to the operators.component.html. In this operators.component.html, let's add the router link okay so that we'll have a mapping link for that one now in the routing module let's create the routing for this one so i am pasting here i need to have map so let's create this map operator now i need to use this component right whatever the component i have created now i need to use that use that component now let's yeah let's add this component now i will close this one let's go to this component whatever we have created map operator component First, we will come with the basics. So now I have an observable. Let's import this observable of. So which emits the value 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, as usual. So I am subscribing to this data. And I will do the console.log of data. <coughs> and now here I will be having pipe operator. 
so now i want to apply map so map so i need to add this map of so each value will be coming to here and what i can do so here i need to return value in a such a way that return value into 10 so whatever the value i am getting here i am returning into 10 so now let's try to see the output what could be the output here let's go to the rxjs and i'm opening this map operator see 10 20 30 40 so whatever the value the observable is emitting it will be multiplied with 10 and that output will be coming to this output observable okay this is the map operator now for example we can also add something like uh, here i can use of operator 1 2 3 comma 4 now you can also use the filter operator also here so i can use the filter operator in a such a way that each value will be coming here i, I will check such a way that i need to pass only the even parameter e even values okay so this is a filter operator now let's import this filter operator yeah i have imported this filter operator now what it is happening here each time so whatever the one second so here i need to close yeah so now here what it is happening each value from the observable each value we are getting one it is passing through the filter it is checking that whether it is even number or not one is not an even number then it will not go to the map operator so two it is even number it go to the map operator and that map operator what it will try to do so taking the two as a value and it will multiply with 10 and it will send it to the output observer so like this it will send only two and four filter will send only two and four to the map operator and this map operator will multiply that value whatever the value that is coming in it will multiply with the 10 and it will send it to the observer let's try to see what is what could be the output here 20 and 40 why because those two only the even numbers present in the observable i am commenting top 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 code so let's try to see here if you try to see the map operator see here you are getting an output of 20 comma 40 okay this is how we can use the combination with other operators also the map operator so generally in scenarios what you can see is for example here i am having a button let's assume that here i am having a button okay let's assume it's a map button and here i will add an id of map underscore button or something like that i am adding an id that's it now what i will do here i will take this map underscore button and let's go here let's comment out this one all okay so that we can check the only output now here i will use after view in it after view in it why because the dom has to initialize so when it will be initialized after view in it now i can write here ng after view in it so in this one what i will try to do constant map button event okay map button event is equal to so from event we can use we can register the event using the from event so document dot get element by id of i can give this one map underscore button i need to keep the bang operator as the as this latest version of typescript angular 12 so it expects something not null it will expect if you don't want this bang operator and all those things means you can go to the tsconfig.json and you can uh, stop this something like fork uh, strict true no uh, strict true i think so this one we need to keep strict true to false so that you will not there is no need to keep the bang operator previous uh, angular versions uh, there is no strict true this one but in the angular 12 onwards we are they are keeping it as default strict true so that is the reason we need to keep a bang operator or otherwise you can write a uh, if condition such that if document dot element by id is present only then create a map event something like that we can write in the if event but i know that that must ensure that element will be present so i am keeping a bang operator to suppress that warning not warning that error so now here map button event dot subscribe okay so here i can write such a way that console dot log data so this is the console dot log data now if you try to see the output so here is the map operator and if you go here you will be having a map button if i click here all the time you are getting a pointer event right so we are getting a pointer event now if you see this pointer event we are having a whole like heck of data we are having so much of data we are having so i don't want this all the data i want only client x and y that is the that is nothing but the position of the button okay i want to know the position of the button with the x axis and the y axis now how can i do we can do it using the map operator now i don't want this all type of data i want something like pipe of i can use map okay let me dot yeah so i can use the map and here you will get an event okay of type event 
so all the time you will get an event of type event so i need to keep like this and here i can go okay so this is the thing now here what i will what i will try to do i will transform the event thing so i will send only x event dot client x okay and another one is y event dot so let me go top yeah so that it will be visible event dot client y okay these are the only two values right we are able to see here oh, yeah we are getting an error so fine client x and client y we are so i want only this x and y values so that here we can receive the data now here we are getting an error that client text does not exist on the type event here if you try to hover here the map button event is an observable of event fine it is an event fine but in the event we do not have a client text right we already know that event is not a event we have a specific name for that one that is nothing but pointer event if you try to see there pointer event it is a pointer event so you can tell to the event that it is a pointer event like that pointer event so that strongly type so now it will be able to understand about this client x and client y now here we are getting the x and y axis right so now the data will be in a such a way that we will get only x and y if you try to see the output here if i click here see now we are getting only the 281 and 286 so here whatever the wherever the mouse i am pressing so i am getting the value uh, sorry i have told you about the button x axis y axis not not uh, this is about the mouse x axis y axis where the mouse is placed <clears throat> so this is the how we are, we we can transform the pointer event now previously without using this map operator what we got we got all the set of pointer events data we got it but i have filtered those events whatever the data i want i have transformed the pointer event to get only the values whatever i needed to subscribe data so in this way this in this scenario in this way we can use this map operator this is way very useful the map operator in the application why because from the response you will be getting so much so much of data so that in order to get it a little bit less less data we can customize that data in the map operator so in this way it is very useful in the application so that is the reason we will be using so much very often in the applications this is about the map operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you